What's up, guys? We are back with another uh, day with the clips and the profile reviews. Today, we're taking a look at YouTube and TikTok. We have the Dapper Tapper on YouTube today. And with me, as always, we have absolutely the amazing Orko Saros. Hi, Orko. Hello there. And first things first, we're gonna go with Dapper Tapper with the description of his channel. Hi, I stream a lot of Minecraft, Sea of Thieves, and Destiny 2. With some other random stuff thrown in, as well as trying to create a community of like-minded gamers. Uh, one of the poorest descriptions I've ever seen on YouTube, for starters. Um... I feel like there is a lot more that you can add into this. I mean, obviously, the fact that you stream uh, all these games uh, is completely fine, and I like that. Uh, but then, obviously, there, there is a lot more that you can add into this uh, on the description. What type of... Uh, what days do you stream? What type of other stuff? They, where all the other social media platforms that you can, people can find you on? Because obviously the description on YouTube gaming on YouTube actually is quite extensive, and you can add a lot of things to it. So I personally feel like adding uh, all your socials and adding everything else onto your description on YouTube helps a lot, actually. Um, Orgosaurus, what else apart from that can we add? It's very barren. You can do so much more on the uh, description on YouTube, so I would just make ample use of that. Like, like you said, at at the socials, what else do you do? Do you stream on Twitch? Do you stream on YouTube? Just tell people so much more about yourself than you would on Twitch, because there is a way higher character limit than on any other platform. J it just, is. yep, do it. J yep. Just. Boom, just go for it. It is huge. You can actually add a lot of things on the <clears> description <throat> on YouTube and it's very, you know, extensive. My description is actually uh, on my channel is written in both Spanish and English. So I literally translate everything I've written to both. So, uh, you know, you can actually, you know, it, it's just um, there is a lot more that you can add to this. Obviously, this is quite poor. You can add a lot more content to it, like the days, the you know streaming schedule, or you can add the socials. You can add, uh, you know, if you're on Twitch or you're not on Twitch, or you know what other things you do, and you know, uh, and the community days, or, or, or whatever you have in mind for your stuff. Um, the banner, actually, I forgot to mention the logo is off center. It's completely off center, and this that literally throws me off completely. Uh, yeah, that's I, true. I would it's, like, it's to, yeah, I would like to see that logo, uh, you know, obviously centered, uh, and obviously the dapper dapper is kind of like, you know, the the panel is, you know, it's, it's okay. It's you know, there is absolutely nothing um, wrong with it, and it looks fine. Uh, now he's got, I think he's got like a few clips, uh, an intro, and like Tekken King. Tekken Wing. He's got like highlights. And he's got only five videos, as I can say here. No, he's got more than five videos. He's got um, six, nine, ten, eleven videos here. So we are going to be taking a quick look at one of the clips. So this is one of the clips there. Split gate with Chris and Kyle and Intangible. Okay. All right, so it's kind of like a highlights. It's like a highlights of a split gate. I mean, it's more it's more long form videos. They are not really shorts. Yeah, I, I mean, they are short videos, but they are like more. Yeah, uh, I normal I, videos I, on I, YouTube. Yeah, I honestly think this could be used as at least two clips for shorts. I think this would yeah. work a lot more in shorts. This is the mistake yeah. that he's making. It, like, this is the old times of YouTube. YouTube in 2022 is completely different. YouTube 2022 is about it's all about shorts now. So if you're gonna post a one minute, one minute, 22 minutes kind of like a clip or highlights or something, take that highlights, take those highlights 
and put them into 30 seconds, uh, you know, short on a vertical format and they will perform, most likely they will perform a lot better than this uh, horizontal format of videos. Uh, that's the new thing, that's the TikTok way and, you know, obviously we have now YouTube Shorts taking on this thing as well. So that kind of like that's what i would do personally with these highlights and stuff they're fine with all the kills and everything but i would use them on a vertical format with a full-on uh, you know with a full-on kind of like uh, shorts uh basically uh format and and focus on that on shorts rather than a whole video um also the i th this is a subject i actually want to discuss with orcosaurus yeah. Um, and this is a subject that I've actually been wanting to talk to you for a while now. Um, yeah. And I, I feel like this is a very important subject uh, and it comes to YouTube, in terms of YouTube, for example. Uh, so we are used to having YouTube uh, as, you know, the typical introduction. Yeah. Uh, you know, the intro of the video, of the intro of your channel, the video, and then you have an outro. Okay? So what do you think about uh, I personally have been removing the outro. So the outro is completely gone from my videos now. Now, instead of having an outro, like you're going to see on this video, if you if you go all the mm -hmm. way to the end of this video here on YouTube, you will be you will go and you will see how these things will appear, like basically the recommended video, subscribe to the channel, or the most watched video. Uh, you will see them appear on the actual screen while we are saying when we are saying goodbye to the channel while you know when basically when i'm uh, basically introducing you guys to my socials and my twitch and whatnot and orcosaurus is doing the same so at that moment is when these panels will appear on the screen instead of having a full-on outro on the video what's your take on that i think it's better to do it that way you are doing it because I mean, you if, if somebody liked the video and watched it to the end, they will subscribe anyways. Yeah, at least I think so. Um, or there's a higher chance, a more likely chance to subscribe. And when they have this, what you what you just have on screen here, these um, things, then it's gonna be it's gonna be um, easier for them to click. Yeah. So do you you are in basically on team non outro okay yeah non outro awesome. i mean i i um edited my first podcast um i did no outro whatsoever yeah like the show just ends because whatever that that's something that i think that not many people have realized and it's something that youtube is changing as well on the long format of uh, long format videos and i actually think that this is um this is really a, a, something that is happening on, on, on YouTube a lot more. Uh, more with the newer creators, obviously the old creators, the ones that have like a ton of views, they will not have to do any of this. They just go on a different lake. But the newest creators, the ones that have the lowest uh, viewership, they are actually starting to remove the outro and having those panels within the end of the video. And they seem a better kind of like return for that because basically the watch time is higher because people just basically when the outro kicks people just quit and just leave so that gives you a better watch time so we have uh, an intro to the video which is kind of like a valorant intro i believe so same thing here if if this is gonna be a full-on intro i mean I, it's cool that he's got like the 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 you know, it's cool that he's got the, the, the whole, you know, transitions and everything. But if it's a full video, I, th there is too much dead time over here, for example. There is way too much dead time over here. And I just think that there's got to be, it's got to be more to the point, more straight to, you know, the action rather than be so, you know, kind of like the being so, so slow pace. The whole video is very slow pace. Uh, I would also like to see like the, the moments have to be a lot more punchy 
and yeah like i said you know kind of like it, that that's that's how it feels to me and also like also i said you know the um also the the editing with those transitions um he has in these videos is completely stilted don't do that yeah like it, just throw in the next clip if, yeah. if you do it like that or I'll just make... make a rapid fire kill montage but don't do transitions <laughs> because that throws the people off yeah uh there's too many transitions actually on the whole video yeah. uh if you, uh, i honestly think this video is a lot more about uh, to be a channel to be a channel introduction personally if it's a channel introduction you need to talk and i, I wouldn't would need to need talk to you i mean know you from the person you are and kind of like maybe having the background i mean having uh, the gameplay on a b-roll for example i personally would do that like you know have you talking and having uh, you know having that uh, kind of like b-roll gameplay for example um because you will be talking and you'll be talking about what your what we can expect from your channel what we can expect from you know from you and that personally i think that would be a lot better uh, if you're only gonna post gameplay of kills and everything just do shorts like it's the way to go now whether we like it or not it's the it's what you got to do like short format vertical format and they do they perform really 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 well and that's what in my opinion that's what uh, you should be doing if you're gonna do like a one minute 20 seconds uh, video if you want to do like that, the introduction of the channel, the Dapper Dapper intro, just go talk yourself, talk about what you do and what they can expect from the channel and have the gameplay maybe on the background, on the as a B-roll, for example, not the background, but have it as a B-roll where it's happening on the screen while you're talking about something specific. Uh, now we're going to go with the next one, which is going to be uh mr big bad wolf we're gonna be taking a look at the uh tiktok basically so orcos house we got uh i'm a 49 year old host new to gaming and streaming let's hang out and have fun uh what do you take from this orco what changes will you do i mean i know he's 49 years old and new to gaming and streaming so um yeah that that's basically it um, just just one thing that I try to avoid. Yeah. Uh, don't write, let's hang out and have fun because it's what everyone wants to do. Yeah. It makes sense, yeah? I, I know that that's basically every streamer's goal. Like, all streamers write this in their bio in some way. Yeah. Tell me why. Don't write this, but instead try to to do it like this try to think why i should hang out with you and have fun yeah yeah like maybe also uh, i know he's quite active on 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 on, on uh, twitch obviously i was i kind of like, like instead of like let's hang out and have fun i would say you know you can find me on you know on twitch for example you can yeah, find me exactly. on Twitch uh, on Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. You know what I mean? Like, it, kinda, it would be a little bit more, you know, uh, rather than let's hang out and have fun, you know, kind of like let, let people know where they can find you. Because obviously, yeah. if someone likes your content, they would like to, you know, basically, you know, get in touch with you and, and see you, for example. Um, I, I would think that that would be a better, kind of like a better end of the description, uh, maybe. So we can take a look. We can take a quick look at a couple of uh, clips. I mean, he's got like most of the clips he's got are uh, just him doing like the sounds and whatnot. I'm gonna try to pick the clips that have like gameplay on them, so we can actually analyze that, for example, uh, because basically what we're trying to help with. Um, so this is basically a clip with kills. It's a two minutes and ten seconds clip. Wow. That, like oh, okay, okay, okay. Pause this. Two minutes and ten second clips on TikTok. Too no. Too long. Too, Too long. long. Too long. No one, no one is going to be, no one is going to be watching the two whole minutes of this. Uh, th this is way too long. This has to be like, have, if you want to do highlights of Apex Legends, firstly, this has to go and this has to be on vertical format 
we have spoken several times on how to do vertical format easily on a website you don't even have to have a actual editing software so there is a website that is called um it's a website that is Stream called Ladder. Stream Stream Ladder. Ladder. yeah there is there is also another website that directly pulls your clips in and does it i i forgot the name eclipse uh, i i i yeah i I, I I signed up for it. I have to look up how it how it's called. Um, Eclipse with K. And it's pretty yeah. good. It's a, it's another website that is very similar to Athenascope. What Athenascope used to do. Mm -hmm. So Eclipse actually does the same thing. Um, it's not as advanced as Athenascope, but it's pretty good. I would recommend it 100%. Uh, so I would take these highlights and I would take those weekly highlights into 30 second uh, you know highlights and post one clip every day 30 seconds no more than that boom 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 one after the other every single day you post in one of those highlights or maybe two on one day one in the morning one in the evening and then you post in you know both of them uh instead of having a two minutes video in here for with a two minutes video that you have you have uh, four clips right there like four clips for your content rather than just one long clip that is really bad and also make sure you post this on vertical format, which is the best way to do on on, on TikTok, basically. Um, we're gonna go with the next one. We got uh, another one, which is basically, uh, we got we got si a similar problem, really. We got a similar problem. That, why is this not playing? This is not playing for some reason. I don't know why it's not playing. Like, no, the clips are playing now. What the heck is going on? Hang on a second. Let me just reload this real quick. So we got another clip, which is basically the same thing. Uh, we got the, the same, the same. I mean, it, it's it's really good. It's got like you know, obviously Call of Duty stuff, and it is great. I'm I'm not saying like the game plan, and everything is just goes straight to the clips and whatnot because obviously, as you can see here on the screen, it's taken from Athena Scope. Uh, Obviously, Athenascope was really good because they used to take your highlights and you it, it's literally free work for you. You didn't you did not have to do any you did not have to do any work on it because like they literally do the, the, the clips for you, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, I personally think that that is it, a great it's a great way to do it. Like it's 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 amazing. But then obviously do the vertical format, get rid of the that that Athenascope highlights because it just even though the clips are good, it just feels lazy. It feels like you didn't ha even have to put any, any, you know, any work on it. He's got like some graphics going on on the on the screen, which is fine. But once again, you need to do this on vertical format and put yourself uh, on a camera at the top and then put the gameplay on vertical and just bake so everyone can see what it is. Like everything around this, there is absolutely no, it, it, it's just not even relevant on a on a clip like this. Um, that is the main change I would do. I think the highlights are fine because obviously they're taken from Athenascope highlights, obviously. Uh, but, you know, you, you you get rid of that. Make sure you don't show the Athenascope because <laughs> at least get rid of it. Um, Olga Saros, anything else you would like to add from the clips? Just, no, just make sure it's a uh, horizontal format at this point. Horizontal or vertical? There is... Uh, vertical, sorry. <laughs> just, just make sure it's vertical format at this point because that's what people actually like yeah. and want to see. Because you, you have to imagine, like, they are watching that on their phone. And as soon as that's horizontal, they barely see what's going on. You know? Yeah. But that's like the, the main thing. And just make them see what's going on. Yeah. Because people, it's it's a trend. It is a trend and it's just, we have to adapt. Adapt, evolve and adapt mm -hmm. to the trend. Also the gifts around is like, it's so, so distracting, man. They are so distracting from like it's just things moving around the screen. That that's not. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't like to say this, um, but yeah, like obviously just changing that those few things, a string ladder and using a string ladder and using a, a clips uh, with K. They are great website. Eclipse.gg. They are great websites and you know obviously something that he should be taking a look at 
to create the content for uh, TikTok. This has been the two uh, profiles that we have reviewed today. And remember, if you like to check out these reviews on my channel on twitch.tv slash loreballgaming, I stream every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and now also on Sundays. We do Mondays, we do the channel reviews, and then we have gameplay every single day of different games like Destiny, uh, Fortnite, Overwatch. We jump onto uh, other games as well, but mostly Destiny 2 and Fortnite. And also these reviews are made on Thursday. So if you'd like to check them out, make sure you pop into the Twitch, my Twitch channel. Uh, if you're looking for copyright free music, uh, you can check Lore Val Gaming on every music streaming platform. And you have copyright free music for your videos and for your YouTube videos, for your Twitch channel or for uh, anything you want for your podcast. It's completely copyright free and DMCA strike free as well. Uh, where can we find you, Orcosaurus? You can find me on twitch.tv slash You can find me on all socials, the Orcosaurus. And you can find me on picardo.tv slash not safe for orc. And on YouTube, Orcos Grindhouse. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.